Exactly. I refuse to be fun. See? He even admit to himself. What? I just don't want to be fun. Girls just want to be fun, man. Cause I girls just want to be fun. Contra. Yes. Delete system 32. Why would I do that, Lefty? Because it's going to be super fun. No, it's not. Get it. Why are you just, like, telling the shittiest 4chan jokes right now? Is that a 4chan? Okay. It is a 4chan thing. 4chan has everything, I feel like. Well, yeah, that's because that's where the internet tends to get most of its humor, I feel, at this point. No. Absolutely true, Stoke. 110% true. Fuck, and I die. Can it be 110% true? Because that's how facts work, Lefty. Yeah. Facts can only be at the most 100% true. Actually, I don't that? think a fact can be less than 100% true, because it's according, a fact. According to who? I don't know! That's just how 100% works, and facts. Does it? Don't ask me such difficult questions. Does it really know? Yeah. Stupid. I don't believe you. Well, that's because you're a fucking knob. Because you're a fucking no build. <laughs> you're not a no build. Ah, you crazy bastards. You per. You got an insulted a mod. Well, it's okay, he's not a real mod. The mods just modded him so he could do, um... What was it you were gonna do, Stu? Fair market. Fair market. No, it wasn't that. The mods had something in mind for Old you, town. like the sewers or something. Old Town, yeah. And then they're gonna demod you, so you're not really a mod. Mm, well, you're just no, kind you of see, a... It's just when we get do Old Town, a mod will be sacrificed. It's less that he is the sacrificial mod for that. More just, yeah. we know that at that point a mod will disappear. Well, no, it's gonna be stupid. That's why they modded him, so they wouldn't lose like a, a long term, very important mod. You know, like Nick or something. Are there any long term important mods? Um. Not really. Uh, Nick. Nick yeah. is pretty much it at Nick, this point. Really? He does no, a lot of stuff. I mean, it's only what. mod that I like. What, yeah. what does he do? What, I don't know. What, what do any of the mods sometimes. do? Stop, let's be honest. Nick bans a lot. I know what Nick does. Nick bans a lot of people that come on when nobody else is on that have very offensive names. Okay. Nick he keeps us safe from all the the weird little no builds. He's in charge of Dorn. That too, but. Uh, why, why do we need a mod in charge? Is there like a mod in charge of the Reach? And. The crown limbs and all that? Um, you'd be no. surprised how disorganized we are. Like, why is there a mod in charge of Dorn but nowhere else? I don't understand! It's, it's, it's not official. Is it just because he like? is it like when. It's because he has a hard on Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's like when mothers tell their slightly slower children things just to satisfy them. You know, it's kind of like that. Sure, why not? It's like it's like giving him a sticker yes, le lefty. to put on his yes. chest, like a little stick it on It's exactly badge. like that, Lefty. That's okay. exactly kind of how it like is. Like your mom, yeah. Yep, so okay. Confused. We're just agreeing with Lefty because he's a slightly sore kid. <laughs> I feel bad for that, you know. I can't believe your mother did that. So when are we doing a D and D again? Ah, oh, fuck no! It's probably tomorrow. right now. Right now. Bird. I don't know. Do you have someone that can DM? I can DM. Okay. Yeah, fine. Lefty. Start DMing. Uh, I am currently uh, a fighter any... pilot flying some. I don't have here. any dice. There are online dice. I don't have them. My internet broke. Ah, oh, you don't need it. I'm talking to. Shut up. I DM'd once. It was fucking boring as shit, so I never did it again. I can't believe this. Alright, I'll DM. I'm just so offended. You're ever in a tavern. 
There's no really? windows in the tavern. I look outside. He rolls a 20. Oh shit! <laughs> there's, a, there's a small crack in the wall and you manage to peer outside. Hmm, he shoves really? his fucking Weird. fist through it and looks I mean, out through the hole. Conventional myth, conventional wisdom would just say go for a door. <laughs> ah, but, um. You should, you should really try and open the door. I mean, I don't usually have to specify acts down to that level. Yeah, but you should. Oh, but that's what makes the game fun. Okay. Well, no. then you fucking slip and I'm gonna bash look your face that into crack. the door. Was. All right. <laughs> Parts of ego flies in. Ego through feet. what? His ego Just, uh, flies fly in. through the wall. His bird. Oh, his bard. Not, not, not his, his um, not his Ed. Okay. His cup. How big is he? The, How does he caught on the hole. Nah, it tries. Huh? It, his bard tries to go through the hole, but it just kind of slams into it and gets stuck. Okay. You can no longer see that. through the hole. How, how does he fit that in? That was the entire point of the bird. <laughs> <laughs> so you can't look out anymore. <laughs> Couldn't be like a person walked in front of your hole or something. Okay. Just a bird. I will check the door for traps. <laughs> All right, you roll a a one. Uh, you know if there's a, a stay clear, uh, the floor is wet sign. And you on the door. Completely ignore the sign. No, just right next to the door. You completely ignore the sign and you you okay. fall over. There's no way you started D&D while I went to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> There's no chance, I'm sorry! <laughs> 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 <sighs> Red well, emerges from the bathroom. Are you saying we're lying? I can't believe you right. say we're lying. That's something I would say. I think the left last is Samurai yeah. 7. Are there, are there that many last of the samurais? No. Like, do they just keep ending over and over? Uh, yeah, but like Death Watch. It's seven hours long. Oh, fuck. What the fucking fuck? Yeah, they, they managed, they managed to, to put seven hours in two hours and 25 minutes. Anybody ever hear of that movie, The Tenth Kingdom? I think it was called. Yeah, I've heard of it. Never seen it. I fucking I owned that on VHS when I was a kid, and me and my brother would make it like a fucking like challenge to just sit there and watch the whole thing. And I think we actually got through it once, like just in one sitting. Okay. It's like a ten hour, like ten and a half hour long movie. Why? Why would you make a movie that long? I have no idea. Because it's fun. It was like, if I remember correctly, it was like the same characters doing like an entire like book series, and it, but it was like one of those series is series that are suck. series that are suck. A series the know. plural of series. Yeah. Anyway, it was like one of those series that uh, like the books don't actually like have anything to do with one another, but they're all still in the same series for whatever reason. Makes little right. sense, but okay. Yeah. But like, it just had like a lot of references to fairy tales and shit. Like, the, I remember distinctly a Midas Touch thing, and I I can remember the actor annoyed the fuck out of me. No, the, the actor was probably annoyed by you. Nah, he's this, he's this actor. I can't fucking remember who it is. But he's in, like, a lot of things. Like, you recognize him, but all the things he's in are fucking weird. So, you you know, like, he's just got a general bad feeling when you see him. That's so mean. Uh, fucking... I don't know. I have 
no idea lefty. Let me Google it. Let me see if I can find him. Peter Sellers. Maybe. No, it's not Peter Sellers. Maybe. So you don't even know. George Costanza. It was. It was. Oh my gosh. Was it actually Ed O'Neill? It might have been. Was? What the fuck have you linked? Fucking. Tenth Kingdom trailer? Oh no, it was uh, John Lara. Lara. I don't know how to say that. Lara Cat? Sure. Fuzzy. Can't read it. Since none of us know what it, who he is. We're gonna struggle. No, you recognize him if you saw him. I mean, there's no possible way we will ever see this man, apparently. Fucking. If only, if only we were on a thing that you could link people. Shut up! The alas. Working on it. Is the guy, the third guy from the left. Was. This looks just. You look Incredibly like... awful. What? Is that the 10 hour movie Lefty was referring to? Because I, I expected something in black and white with death. Yeah, I think that's it. Huh. Who would even make a 10 hour movie? I don't know. No matter a 10 hour weird fantasy movie. Yeah, this is it. I remember little bits. This, uh... Oh. Anyway... Getting a bit late. Um, just heading off. Alright, next up. See what you've done. So, what's everyone up to tonight? Sadly, still watching this trailer. Is it as long as the movie? <laughs> I'm gonna go stab my eyes out. It's only seven hours from it. My god. Felt oh. like ten hours. <laughs> or more. Maybe it's ten Canadian hours. Not Canadian, what the fuck are Canadian? I live in America. Nah, you're basically Canadian. Well I'm not. You're like we a still mile have... away from Canada. No, I'm not. I'm further away from Canada than like Minnesota or Wisconsin or like any other northern state. You're I'm like 200 Canadian. miles from Canada. That's basically Canadian. 200 fucking miles. Uh huh. More Canadian than I am. Well, yeah, more Canadian than you are. But that's like, like fucking Italy and France. No, I'm 400 miles from London, so um, I'm easily more than that from France and Italy. Uh, it's Italy and France, like Italy to France, not you to Italy or France. Fucking. Not everything is about you! Gosh, oh gee. And the friend, if you speak Italian, you basically speak French. They're very similar languages. I wouldn't know, because I don't know either of them. No. I'm as far from Canada as France is from Austria. They're right beside each other. You're not fucking touching, though. No, but they're... They got Switzerland in between. Yeah. The fucking lake between me and Canada is bigger than Switzerland. Like, a lot bigger. But you can basically ski from Austria into France. So. It's because it's downhill. <laughs> 200 miles downhill. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, the European miles are shorter. Yeah. 
They're only like a few feet. I learned that from Euro Truck Simulator. I could drive, even though I was only going 80 kilometers per hour, I was going about a kilometer per second. Yep, that game is pretty accurate in its depiction yep. of Europe. Yeah. Also, it's got all the roads in Germany in the wrong place. Now that I'm looking at Google Maps, and there's like a shit fuck over on the western side of Germany, and not that many on the eastern side. You're a shit yeah, fuck. but there's some good. There's, isn't that because they basically don't have a lot of Eastern Europe in there? Um, no, I think it's all just add-ons. Ah. Like, with the regular game, they got, like, Germany and Belgium and the Netherlands and maybe, like, Denmark or something. But then, like, they've got, like, 50 million just tiny little, like, $1 DLCs that add, like, half of another country. Yeah. You can have the Estonia pack. What was this? Euro Truck Euro Simulator. Truck simulator. Right. I mean, it could be worse. They could go for the train simulator model. And, like, you have to oh, buy God. specific roads. Are you shitting me? You're not seeing the train simulator. I've watched like fucking ten seconds of the preview, but that's it. Lefty, go on, um, go on no. Steam. No. And go to Euro, um, go to Train Simulator and look at DLC. Oh, they've got Bus Simulator now too. It's no, thousands. Least. If you want to buy all the DLC for Train Simulator, it will cost you thousands. Oh my. God. So you're, about that. you're saying they're going in that kind of Sev Total War direction with the DLC? What, in Euro Truck Simulator? Yeah. What, are they going to have expansion races? I'm, I'm, I'm not sure what they mean by that. Oh my fucking lord! Holy fuck! <laughs> How much? What? How much? What the fuck? Five thousand three hundred ninety-nine dollars! <laughs> oh yep. my god! I thought you were exaggerating, and it'd be like The Sims or something, where it was no. still like a shit fuck, but it was only like four hundred bucks. Uh. Wow! I didn't know it was fucking five thousand four hundred bucks. Yeah. What the fuck? It's pretty fucking crazy. forty dollars for Train Simulator WCML Trent Valley route add-on. It's important to have that Trent Valley route. What the fuck? How do they fucking get off on the Canadian Mountain Passes? Revol Revelstoke Lake Louise. What the fuck? Left Those are reach $40. Lefty, you can probably find some in your local area. I fucking would hope so. Yeah, but how Union much would you Pacific. pay for your area? I mean, um, like you're not I'd pay like a trains. dollar, maybe. Yeah, you're not heavily into trains. So. No, I'm not. I'm, the trains here are fucking gross anyway. They're just big fucking diesel trains hauling fucking iron ore all over. They're fucking nasty. Yeah, but I mean, there's a subway simulator out there for God's sake. Like, train simulator wouldn't even be fucking fun. You're on a fucking track. Like, what do you fucking do? Lefty, just Double think coal? about how much more boring a subway simulator would be. You're on a subway! You're going straight in the dark! I don't know, if it was free I'd play it for like an hour because I've never been on a subway. Okay. There are apparently Guys, weird scenarios you can get though. I've yeah. done something that Lefty hasn't done. You've been on a what, subway? What, been on a fucking subway? Yeah. You've been on the Clockwork Orange, I feel it was. I mean, I drove through Edinburgh. this five mile long tunnel once. Wait, what do you mean you did it in Edinburgh? There's no subway in Edinburgh. Uh, oh, it's a tram. Yeah, it's a tram. Yeah. It's different. You've never been in the- you've never you're in the Clockwork Orange, though. I may have. Ash, oh no! I did go on a subway once, in Washington, D.C. Okay. It was... I mean, I don't actually know what cities have um, them. I know New York. Uh, we had this conversation the other day, didn't we, Red? I think generally, like, every major city in oh, the no, US has the some L. sort of subway L. system. That was yeah. an L, yeah. Oh, yeah, I've been on the Clockwork Orange, yeah. 
Yeah, so you've been on the... Yeah. Apparently they're gonna change it. I've never been on a regular passenger train, though. Wait, what? Oh yeah, because American trains suck, don't they? Well, also, we don't have any. Here. Yeah, in your area. Public transport, but we just don't really do that. We just don't have cars. Like, train transport is pretty redundant in the U.S., to be honest. Well, it is and it also isn't because... It, it depends where you are, I suppose. It does depend where you are, but... If you're on the West Coast, it probably makes more sense because you've got a, bu a bunch of big cities near each other. Yeah, but then, like... I think there's more of a difference between, like, city and rural here than, you know, like a lot of, a lot of areas in Europe. Or like, you can have a train fucking go out into a rural setting in Europe and still, you know, fill up with people. Whereas here, it'd fucking go like 50, 100 miles before it passed enough farmhouses to fill up with people and be worth its time. Which it wouldn't be worth its time at that point. Yeah. I don't know. I just don't know. We've got a fucking great highway system, though. Fucking love the American highways. They're fucking the best. Best highways. They have bottles. No. What do you do with them? Do they have bottles? What? You said bottles, they have I think. Bottles. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you said bottles at first, too. I still you think you said bottles. <laughs> It sounded like it, but I narrowed it down to him saying potholes with his awful accent. Right, what? We'll try again. Do you guys have potholes? Portals? Not really. Do you have portals? No. <laughs> Do you guys got Portal 2? <laughs> Actually, Portal 2 was based in the UP. Did you know that? N eh? No, no way it's based in the UP. No, I fucking got a screenshot on Steam. There's a newspaper in, like, the old sections of Aperture Science when you go there. And it says, local entrepreneur Cave Johnson buys local salt mine. And it's the UP Pioneer Press newspaper, which was discontinued, like, ten years ago. But Bullshit. in the time that it would have been purchased, that would have been the newspaper in the UP that printed that. And, well, they got it a little wrong, because the UP doesn't have salt mines, only the Lower Peninsula has salt mines. It's quite obviously meant to be the UP, and we, have, we just have copper whoa, whoa, whoa. mines and why iron uh, mines instead of salt Why can't uh, the Upper Peninsula newspaper just be reporting the Lower Peninsula news? Because Jesus it Christ. said local! Eh, it's local enough! No, it's not! Never in my entire life have I heard of local news reporting on a local event that happened in the Lower Peninsula, because that's not local. They'll still report on it, but, like, they'll just say fucking, you know, mass murder in Detroit, not local mass murder in Detroit. There are many mass murders in Detroit? Oh, oh boy. <laughs> yeah. actually, well, actually, they don't even get on the news because there's so many. Are there? Wow, yeah. okay. Uh, Man, in Detroit, have you not heard anything about Detroit in your life? I mean, I know it's basically a Scooby-Doo ghost town, that's about it. Yeah. <laughs> it's a Scooby-Doo ghost town because it was literally like a fucking war, it's like fucking Afghanistan. I mean, like, say, you see it like on Google Earth and you're just like, how exactly are there no houses in this entire area? Oh, there are, they're just abandoned. Well, I mean, no, they've like cleared out a bunch of them if you look on Google. Yeah, that's true. They just kind of. I don't even, I don't even think they plan it out. They just kind of drive bulldozers around and knock shit over. Yeah, it seems kind of crazy. And I don't think they care at this point. It's just a fucking black hole for tax dollars. So. What, Detroit or all these houses are in the middle of nowhere. The Detroit. Because it used to have like 9 million people and that has like 3 million, no joke. So. That's quite a few yes. dollars. Where did, they, mm -hmm. where did they misplace them to? Well, it was mostly because 
you know, Detroit was like a ginormous fucking auto mobile manufacturing place yeah, seeing as they stuff. were fucking invented there and like started being made they were there and no yeah. way invented and like literally Detroit. everybody that i know between the ages of 65 and 75 once worked at an automobile assembly line sure just want to no make it shit. absolutely I clear can't... that is no way detroit invented cars no they were invented in detroit nope automobile was invented by henry ford who lived in Detroit. Mm, no, the... Nope. Nope. It was not invented by Henry Ford. The automobile was invented by Henry Ford. No, it wasn't. Mass, was it in? I'm pretty sure mass, man, mass production was invented by Henry Ford. Henry Ford literally invented the automobile. I don't no, he didn't. That's actually true. I don't know for certain. What but... fucking it is? How do you guys not know this? He didn't. He invented mass production, I will bet you. He fucking invented automobiles. So I've got this fucking Michigan fuck book. Sake. It was like my favorite book when okay, I was a little Okay, look at Wikipedia, tell me what it says. So I'll bet you there were people driving around in Germany. Who invented the automobile? left he's now learning that he might not have the right books. It's fucking Henry Ford. What does the, the internet say? No. Why the fuck did my textbooks tell me that Henry Ford invented the automobile? I have because fucking textbooks. I literally have textbooks in this house that say that. Okay. Because they're American, and they like to believe they invented it. This is bullshit. Yeah, but you know. Welcome. Also, Henry Ford probably paid for those textbooks. So who does it say actually invented the motor car? I don't know. Um. Is it some German dude? Uh, Carl Benz. Where is he from? Judging by his name, Italy? No. Let me click on him. That'd be the smart thing to do. Why did you do the smart thing? Come on. Carl Benz, yeah, German. Wow. Yeah. This I is fucking that, horse you know, shit. My textbooks fucking lied to me. Every single one. There was like fucking four of them that said that too. Do you ever think your education may not have been as good as you thought it was? My education was great. I learned how to make longbows. I mean, other than obviously you didn't learn who invented the car. That wasn't just my education, though. That was everything I've ever read. Well, yeah, but everything you've read probably learned it from the same textbooks you learned it. No, it was like in just regular books and stuff. Okay, but, you know, it's not true, so... I'm fucking... shocked. Like, how does that happen? How do you just change something that significant? But you realize it's not, a like, a textbook. mistake. It's deliberate, right? Yeah, you but how do you this. make... Like, how do you... That's like me just saying that Hitler didn't exist. Like, you can't do that. You can't put that in a textbook. You can, because it's not like there's an objective truth out there. Other than God. obviously what actually happened. There's no... It's more complicated. And for so many of them to do that. 
It's almost like there's some sort of conceded effort to agree on something. Why the fuck wasn't this Carl Benz guy paying for fucking textbooks to write about him? Well, because they were busy running a big car company called Mercedes Benz. Fucking Henry Ford was running Ford. Yeah, well, well maybe just not that big in America. America is like the capitalist fucking Disneyland. He was having a great time and busy as fuck. But also, most cars aren't in America. So. America's always had its own weird kind of supermarket. Like, you have whole brands that just aren't anywhere else. And you other... guys have Ford? We have Fords, but they're not really... I don't know, they're just not that... around. You have Dodge? Nope. I mean, they Dodge exist is great, if you the mighty import Dodge. them specifically. But That's we don't really, we don't even, we only have a few pickups. It's just, it's not really a thing in Europe. Hmm, that's kind of shitty. No, we don't need them. We have bands. Really helpful. I sure. wouldn't be able to put a deer carcass in a van. Okay. A truck. You know, again, this is a whole lack of hunting culture the thing you have. Yeah, no fucking Europe is shitty. No hunting. Well, it's not like there's no hunting, you can go hunting, because we prefer things like Land Rovers and Jeeps. Yeah, but then when you go hunting, it's on reserves and shit. Well, yeah, because people own the land. It's shitty. It's a shitty way to hunt. It's not fun. Okay. It's not really hunting, it's just shooting. When I go shooting, I just shoot rocks. And Tannerite and Snowman. Okay. Do you have many crossbows in Europe? <clears throat> no. Not at all. I mean, it's not like they're. They're much more legal, probably, than guns, but they're not exactly. Cool. Really? Yeah. That's fucking nuts. No, I've handled a bow before. You could kill more people with a bow than a. Well. And some guns, lots of guns, pretty much anything that wasn't automatic or semi-automatic. Mm. I've been practicing with a longbow. I reckon I could kill as many people with a longbow as I could with a bolt-action rifle. The same amount of time. Bows, if you, I mean, you've got like a pro, like a modern kind of recursive bow, whatever the fuck it's called. Recurve bow. Yeah, you, you, it's really not well, that hard to kill people. Nah, it is. I mean, it will go through a lot. It, it's quite easy to fire on. Actually, I did it when I was like 10. Well, you can also set them to lots of different weights. When you were shooting, it was probably like 30 pounds. Probably, which... but I was shooting about 100 meters. So, you know. Yeah. Still a decent range. Ain't gonna fucking kill something in 100 meters. It'll hurt it pretty bad. I was, I was shooting some pretty small targets. I could, I thought I could hit someone in the head. Yeah, I'd bounce off their skull at a hundred fucking yards. I don't know. I went, I went through two inches of metal. No, it didn't. I, metal? I did. Cause uh -uh. um, yeah, there was a thing hanging down below the um the marker. Arrows are made of like. Not stuff that can go through metal, they'd break, they'd shatter. Trust me, I put a hole through the metal of the four. It might have been like fucking, like, just a little, like, steel veneer or something. Okay. Arrows Maybe. can't pierce metal. Any metal that's thicker than, like, just a soft sheet of fucking, like, copper or aluminum or something, an arrow is not gonna pierce. It can't. It's not hard enough. It'll break. I'm not saying the arrow Shatter was okay afterwards, but... Billions of little splinters after it just puts a scratch in the yeah. metal. Again, I'm not saying it was all okay afterwards. Also, I'm not saying it was necessarily all made of metal. I can only see the surface, obviously. And the other Yeah, it was side. probably like a really thin little metal sheet over a piece of wood. Or nothing at all. <clears throat> 
What do you mean, or nothing in Tulsa? You call me a liar. Well, I mean, you can just, you know, make shapes out of metal that are pretty rigid and strong. It, it was quite heavy. Nah, I didn't pierce that. Oh, it did. You're lying. Fine, call me it a liar. It can't. Even a hundred yards a crossbow couldn't do that. I've got my crossbow set at 110 pounds right now. And it couldn't do that. 110 pounds is like 50 kilograms. I can't stand all of this inconsistent pasture space shit. There's one way to do it. And besides, you're probably you using right. target arrows, and target arrows are dull as fuck. Yes. Total crap. Yeah, I don't know. I have no idea, okay? Again, I was like 12 at the time. 10, 12, I don't yeah. know how old See, it was. You lost the memory and you're remembering it wrong. Or, you know. <clears throat> I don't know. It didn't happen, it can't. Can't. Contra can't. Unless you were using whatever that superhero is that uses a bow that's really fucking strong. Oh, there's like 15 of them. But I think you mean the green arrow. I don't know, it might be. I just remember seeing this thing where these people made, like, I mean, it was just this giant fucking machine. And they're like, yeah, this thing can shoot an arrow with the same force that this guy's bow apparently shoots an arrow. Most of the arrows just shatter before they fucking leave the machine. But some of them actually go and can, you know, do some crazy shit. I don't know. I don't know. I've never seen a TV show where they test out, um, you know. I just saw an image machines. or something. Seems weird. It's like a some college students project or something. Some engineering students. Okay, I'll believe you. anything yet. I'm just realizing what a fucking headache this thing is going to be. And Cal just... I, I keep trying to give him advice, he just keeps fucking it up. It's amazing. Who else but Calberg? Oh, that would be the shittiest um, sitcom. <laughs> he's not... He's not dividing up pasture space logically, it looks like Ashford. That is a harsh criticism. I don't know what Ashford looks like. Look at the pasture space at Ashford, it makes no fucking sense. Yep. Okie dokie, Dr. Jones, where's the thing? It's basically just making arbitrary Lefty, random Lefty, how do you shapes. feel about them making a new Indiana Jones movie? Uh, I don't feel anything about that at all. Indiana Jones is gone and done forever. Harrison Ford is an old fart. But they're making a new Indiana Jones. Are they really? Yeah. I thought this was like a hypothetical. No, no. I mean, they're, they are actually making a new one. Sounds retarded. Although, I guess it's a good marketing move. They probably know it'll make a decent amount of money, so, you know, why not? I mean, it'll make a lot of money. But then, yeah. how much do people not like it after, you know, Shia LaBeouf? Red, where are the pastures? Is there these ones surrounded by leaves? These are fucking uh, dumb. I'm pretty yeah, sure those these are, are exactly it. the ones I'm thinking of. <laughs> these are weird as fuck. They're really weird, and this is exactly how he's plotting out his thing. Well, he's probably using it as an example. They're like a unnecessary puzzle. I just can't imagine why he would use Ashford in particular as his example, unless he doesn't really understand. Who did Ashford? Really anything that the fucking editors have been doing with crops for the last year. Desert A lot crops. of people don't really understand what editors are doing with crops. 
I don't understand what editors. You just don't understand moderators or any. You want anarchy, Lefty. That's what you want. Yeah. Yeah. You think everyone should have everything? Fuck everything. I want anarchy, but just me on the server then. By the way, anyone know what happened to that Trump protest earlier? What Trump protest? There was a weird Trump protest, people like blocking traffic in New York, even though he wasn't there or something. I don't know. I was I only kind of vaguely saw the story and went for dinner. Yeah, to be honest, the Trump campaign is so asinine at this point that I just I don't even listen. I, you know, it's it's getting to the point where I'm just like really upset if people bring it up. They're like, "Oh, Trump is such a bastard." Like, I don't care. As far yeah. as I'm concerned, if we continue talking about it, that's kind of what he wants. He just wants fame. And he's gonna get the presidency by doing it. Yeah, but it's not like me talking about him is getting Trump supporters. Because I'm no, not American. Not. But still, I just, I'm... Quite honestly, I'm bored of it. You can bring it up again in like three months, is my general rule. I can just imagine him Thanks sitting before. there in a, a big fur chair with that little duck face on going, eh, I'm famous all over the world. Why is he plotting it like this? Should I bring it up now or should I just yeah, wait until fucking later? Yeah, just tell him now. And um, we're putting a three month rule on that so you can only bring it up in three months. Right, Why yeah, wouldn't you tell him now? Fine. He's already done the least amount of damage and he will continue to do more and more damage until he's done the maximum amount of damage. And you'll think, oh, why didn't I tell him to undo that? Hey, come on. Lefty, we said not to bring up Trump anymore. <laughs> I was talking about Cal, what the fuck? I know you were. Okay. I'm sorry, Contra, I just don't enjoy talking about it. It's just. I know, I can, I can understand that. It's embarrassing. It is embarrassing, of course it's embarrassing. It's insanely embarrassing. I feel great regret that I've already made life choices pledging my life to this country when Donald Trump is going to be representing it. <sighs> so any good movies anyone's seen? I heard there was a new Indiana Jones. It should be pretty good. <laughs> it might. <laughs> hey, like I said, hey, Shia LaBeouf's crazy now, so maybe he'll be good in that. You know what, Ramen? I would welcome a war on Mexico because then I would just get to fight here instead of having to go to the middle of a fucking desert. Actually, never mind. I would probably be in the desert. What? I would not have to go a long ways to be in the desert to fight people. Could... I would just get to fight in the desert but here. Why would you want to fight people? What if they Because I'm gonna to have you? to end up. I'm gonna end up doing that anyway if fucking Donald Trump is president. So, I might as well just save myself the fucking miles and do my fighting here than uh, in Saudi Arabia or wherever he's got fucking people next. You if he gets elected. Your allies now. I don't fucking know what he's gonna do, he's a fucking idiot. I mean, did you see the. Yeah, sorry, I'm trying to stop. He'll fucking about invite sorry. somebody to, you know, a little conference, like some. Saudi Arabian uh, person, I can't think of the word right now, uh, representative person kind of thing. No, you're fired, and then he'll fucking declare war. It's gonna be shite. Red, Red have you ever seen the movie Idiocracy? Take that as a no. Left thing, you seen it? No, I don't think so. Hmm. It's about a future world where basically dumb people have bred to the point of being the most popular people. Uh, oh, the so like today. Biggest number of people. Yeah, there are a lot more of them though. And the thing is, they know they're dumb. Oh, and so then... they're not. That means that they're like in that stage where they're at least not completely hopeless. Yeah, that's the weird thing about Idiocracy. It's actually a more optimistic world than we're in right now. <laughs> Even uh, though the world is completely fucked, because, for example, um, no, no crops are growing because everyone's using Gatorade on crops. What? Because at some point they had the marketing strategy. It's what plants want, or plants need. So they just began using it on it, and it killed them, unsurprisingly. Oh. Oh, now Cal is giving me a silent treatment again. God damn it. 
Why is he such a fucking child? I'm trying to Probably help Probably because him. he is a child! Really yeah, no, he's like 14, him. but still, like, he's so... And it's also my job as editor, I need to tell him if he's doing something that's weird, but if he Just don't to compromise him. with him, just say, Calbert, you're doing this wrong. I... You're going to have to redo it at I one point or another. Are... It's easier to redo him, it now. Are the yellow lines, bocage, trees, etc.? And he said nothing. He just keeps on plotting them out. Ask him again. Get, get a little bit aggressive. He answers to aggression, unlike most bitchy little builders. Oh, never mind, I said it's a ramen. I'm an idiot. Oh, you're saying, uh, wait, so you're you. sending insulting messages to ramen. That's good, that's good. Insulting, yeah, that's a bit far, but... Fine, you're giving ramen really harsh feedback. Ramen, this is shit. Ramen, this is shit. How could you let Kalberg do this to us? <laughs> you dick. How dare you. God, these are fucking awful. <laughs> like, just look at these three fucking, like, weird, almost triangular ones. Like, this one's fucking just fucked. And this one's like a big teardrop or something. Oh, he's gonna split it in half now. That'll fix everything. Yeah. I've boy, settled oh her. Boy. My fields are gonna be at lay good. But, Why you did know. the mods give him a project? I'm not really sure. Well, partially because not they right. need people to do it, but, um, really the only one that I have a humongous problem with is this one that's just strangely shaped for the sake of it. Yeah. Okay. 